be honest, I didn't think we really started the game that well. Um, we said, you know, no silly fouls, don't give them free kicks, throw-ins. We did completely opposite first ten minutes. Um, they hit the post twice, so. But you know, devastating on the counter attack. Brennan grabs clinical. Um, you know, three 0 away at Birmingham is is absolutely fantastic, and to open the score sheet, I mean, open my account for the season's buzzing. Yeah, how did you feel when that one went in off the corner? Um, I, you know what, I didn't I didn't see it till late. Um, probably helped me to be honest. Didn't think about it, just sort of instinct. Um, just to go two 0 up. We know it's such a tough place to come. The pressure's going to come. We need as many goals as possible. Um, you know, Brees has pulled off some unbelievable saves. So. Does 3 0 flatter us? I'm not sure because we also had chances, but you know, a lot, a lot to work on. Yeah, and another day, it, this could have been a, a 6 4 or something, couldn't it? Or a 4 6 it or could, whatever. Yeah. We were under no illusions that at half time. We were 2 0 up, but it, it could have quite easily been 2 all. Um, and that's something we've got to learn from. We've got to be better um, because we're going to play these again your Cardiff, your Middlesbroughs, you know, who, who've beaten us. Um, luckily, we've had the quality today, but that, that's not always going to be the case. Uh, the confidence when you go forward as a team, as a unit, is in stark contrast to where it was, what, only a couple of weeks ago, isn't it? Now you look a real threat every time you go across the halfway line. Yeah, absolutely. I feel with with the back three person, it's the first time I've ever played with a back three behind me in my career. Um, I feel like I'm 10, 15 yards higher up the pitch, doing what I do best is pressing my opposite midfielder, being better than my opposite midfielder, you know, we're nicking balls higher up the pitch, I'm 10-15 yards closer to the goal, therefore Brennan grabs Philip, Joe, they're all closer to the goal, you know, we're creating more chances and I think that's a massive reason why. Helps when you've got Lewis Grabben smashing them in from 25 yards as well, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it, it does take the pressure off straight away, to be honest. Um, what, what can I say, he just, he's one of the best in the league, um, it's as simple as that really. Um, is it possible to, to describe the, the, the change in feeling in the dressing room amongst the squad over the course of that last couple of weeks that you've been through? You've been through the emotions. Uh, Steve Cooper's just told us it's been an emotional time for, for the squad over the last couple of weeks, but um, it, it's a bit of a contrast now, isn't it? Yeah, it is massively. We're, win, we're winning games of football. Um, you know, I live for, for football. Um, and that's all I want to do. I, I sacrificed my whole life to win games of football for this football club. and. You know, we weren't winning games for a long, long time, and I know how awful it is when when it's not. And you know, massive away following every single away game, and the home support is unbelievable. Even when we're not picking up the results, and just to then get some wins, you just feel like the pressure's off. You can let the shackles off a little bit and just start to enjoy it a little bit because you're giving them back what they deserve. You know. You know, it's 2015, February 2015, the last time Forrest scored three goals in consecutive away matches. It speaks for itself, doesn't it, really? It's, <laughs> it's just exciting to be part of a team. And, you know, I've learned things in two weeks which have helped me develop me into a, a better footballer. Um, and we're not getting carried away. You know, like I say, it could have been two all at half time. But, you know, it wasn't. It's football. And... We've just got to ride the wave, keep improving, and I'm just excited to see how far we can go as a team. Just ask Steve Cooper this question about the international break that's coming up. He said it's important you get a little bit of a breather after all the games you've just had, but I wonder how much you're looking forward to working with him uh, on sort of more training stuff rather than just game preparation. Absolutely. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm learning so much at the minute. Um, just tactically, um, I feel like I can develop my game, even if it's just minor tweaks. Um, to get me higher up the pitch, affecting the play more. Um, you know, I, I love days off, but at the minute, I think all the lads are, you know, if we're told we're off, we're happy. If we're told we're in, we're happy. Um, but that's what winning football games does. Uh, you know, it was ugly at times today, but, you know, was a Scotty, Toby, <laughs> Brees, unbelievable. Um, probably goes under the radar, but Brees today was, was fantastic. Yeah, and again, we saw the manager, or the head coach rather, point. Brees Samba out to the Forest fans as you were all celebrating across there. He was crucial today. Yeah, um, absolutely. Along along with the three in front of him, it's like Jed and Max are sort of the attacking players, and then three, you know, me me and Jack today in front were just sort of providing for for them lads further up the pitch. But you know, it's a team effort and there's a long way to go.